India's Royal Enfield can reasonably lay claim to being the oldest global motorcycle brand in continuous production, having produced its first model in 1901. Twelve decades ago RE was a British manufacturer, the firm is now owned by vehicle manufacturer Iker Motors Limited and makes its motorcycles in the Indian city of Chennai. Royal Enfield currently has only a few cafe-style street bikes to its name, but its bullet is indeed currently the longest-running motorcycle in production. The company dipped a toe in the adventure market with the mid-size Himalayan in 2018, that bike has since carved out its own niche in the adventure touring category. 2022 Royal Enfield Himalayan Updates the Himalayan doesn't get a full overhaul for 2022, but enjoys several updates with an emphasis on rider comfort and delivering a better overall ride. Both front and rear cargo racks have been modified, the front rack with a slimmer design to give taller riders more legroom and the rear rack with a lower, stronger profile for better luggage mounting and an easier time getting on and off the motorcycle. The seat cushion has been updated, and a new windscreen is designed to increase comfort on longer rides. Perhaps the most notable update is the addition of a Royal Enfield Tripper navigation pod on the right side of the dash. Riders simply connect to the bike via the Royal Enfield North America navigation smartphone app, type in a destination, press go, pocket their phone, and follow the simple directions on the tripper. The Himalayan also gets three new paint jobs, granite black, mirage silver, and pine green, added to returning colors gravel gray, rock red, and lake blue. The 2022 Himalayan is set to arrive in North America this month, November, with a $5,299 price tag, very reasonable when compared to other middleweight adventure bikes. Riding the 2022 Royal Enfield Himalayan We had the opportunity to throw a leg over the updated 2022 Royal Enfield Himalayan in the hills of Southern California's Temecula wine country. Royal Enfield put together a solid event to showcase the updated Himalayan at Dafo Winery. If you're a motorcycle enthusiast, Dafo should be on your list of places to visit. The winery has a beautiful collection of motorcycles, memorabilia, and wine. It would also be the perfect place to take your significant other for a date, thank us later. The Himalayan had a certain something that caught our eye when it was first released in 2018, and it still got it today. Small bore manageability, a simple good-looking design, and a low price tag hit the sweet spot, the Himalayan would be a great bike for more riders than not. Large ADDs are great, but their horsepower, weight, and tall seats can be tiring, if not intimidating.